Okay, so my previous video I installed Ubuntu on the Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, this is the 4 gig model with a Pi Moroni fan shim. Uh, I've done exactly the same, but this time I've installed Lubuntu. Uh, and it's exactly the same as the previous video, so I won't go through all the how to install it. But basically at 1 minute 45 in the previous video, instead of putting in uh, sudo apt install Ubuntu desktop, you want to put in Lubuntu desktop and it will follow the same course and then you'll end up with a desktop that looks like this. Uh, the, the reason you would install Ubuntu is it is a lighter, easier to run desktop. Uh, it uses less RAM as well, so it's going to be more suitable for the Pi really uh, to run a sort of more stripped down version. But actually it looks really nice and if you're used to Windows 10, uh, it works in a very similar fashion and you can see that it feels nice and quick. Uh, this is running from an SD card, uh, a Samsung one this time. The previous one with Ubuntu was running a Kodak card, which is quite a slow card. So I think this will get a performance increase because of that as well. Um, but I've overclocked already using the same method in my previous video. So if I go into System Tools, go to Terminal, uh, and type this in, sudo cat sys devices system. Uh, you can see it's running at 2 gigahertz or 2000 megahertz and I've got the graphics at 750 uh, and that's going to be important because uh, in the next video I'm going to install Steam, not Steam Link which is where you run the games on your other computer, Steam which is the proper installer because loads of games are supported on Steam. But I need more time to do that, so I'm going to do that tomorrow. Uh, this is just a quick video just to show uh, sort of where I'm at because I've been off for a week. Uh, I've been on holiday and uh, haven't done any videos. So let's quit out of that and show you what comes with it. So you can see under the accessories, you can see various things in there. A lot of them I don't know what they are. LibreOffice Math, uh, just the one game. You can see there's various different graphics uh, programs in there. Firefox is the standard web browser. Obviously you can install Chromium if you want to and probably various other browsers. Uh, Office, I was surprised to see it had as much Office uh, apps in there as it has, but it but it's uh, it's pretty well equipped even though this is supposed to be a lighter uh, sort of slimmed down version. Um, sound and video, so VLC you can see in there. Uh, that's two different versions of Terminal. I don't know what, what the drop down bit is, but I'll explore that at a later date. Uh, printers, interesting to see. I haven't done anything about setting up a printer with a, a Pi 4, uh, but I am about to change my printer, so I'll probably do that when I change my printer rather than use my very old Epson printer, um, just in case drivers and issues and things like that. Uh, you can see various ways of shutting down or closing off the system. Four different desktops, so you can switch between active desktops. So uh, if your desktop is cluttered, you can move it around. Uh, this is just file management, but the file management looks, I think, lovely, uh, really, really nice. Uh, and it shows my network quite simply. Uh, so if I click on that, you'll see that WD My Cloud is my network attached storage. Uh, and let's open that up because it would be good to get uh, an image off that. And what have we got? Oh, there we go. Let's use, uh, actually, yeah, because I've used that image in a previous video. Kind of cut and paste. Yeah, that's nice and quick. What happens if I double click on that? So that comes up in the right orientation uh, and it's got this viewer here. What happens if I right click on it? Open with LX image, Firefox. What does other applications do? Oh, that just shows different. So this is it, it's very, if, if you're used to Windows, this feels really, really similar. That re it really doesn't feel that, that difficult to use at all. Uh, have I got any, uh, if I go back and go into my uh, YouTube folder, bum, 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 YouTube archive, let's see, is there anything on there? Oh, there you go, Dyson cardboard tube, very interesting. Right, so, I just hit continue, I didn't read that. Let's see how it's playing this video. This video will be in 1080 because I do all my videos in 1080. Uh, oh, that was an article, <laughs> am I in it? Oh, there you go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, so let's close that down. I wanted to try the web browser. Uh, because that's always interesting. Oh, and let's 
In fact, while we've got this up, let's go with Impress, which is the uh, PowerPoint style. There we go, and let's go for that one and open uh, Insert Image from the desktop and open. This, considering this is running from an SD card, this, this feels really nice, it feels really quick. It's got a nice little blurring effect there when you're moving things around, which tends to look less, you know, jumpy than some other systems would be. Uh, let's just minimize that and open up the web browser and open up a few tabs. Oh, it had suggestions there, did it? Oh yeah, YouTube. There you go, so three tabs, uh, BBC Sport, hit YouTube, let's search for my channel, In fact, let's try and find a bike video, uh, there we go, let's start that playing, let's go back into here, Hot UK Deals, go back to BBC Sport. Very good rugby match yesterday for England. Uh, Hot UK deals. What's that Apple Watch series? Uh, series five. Bit too much for me. Uh, yeah, and that's scrolling around nicely. Let's go back to my video. Oh, it's still playing an advert. Let's skip the advert. Skip the YouTube YouTube Premium trial. What do we get up here as well? Yeah, nice. So we're running at, what, 720, I think? Yeah, running at 720, 60. Uh, it is jumpy, this start. It's meant to be. I think there's less tearing. Yeah, I think there's less tearing in it than, uh, than previous videos, uh, than previous things I've tried. So Raspbian, uh, Ordinary Ubuntu. I think that's definitely more watchable. I think there's, there's definite improvements going on here. Some of the jumpiness is me probably knocking the camera or moving the bike. So hit escape. Let's close that down and go back here and just have a flick through. Just so you can see if you're looking for what programs come on it, you might notice a program. I don't know a lot of the uh, Ubuntu type, type programs that are on here because I don't really use it. I've used it in the past, just sort of played around with it, but never really used it as a daily driver. Uh, you can see a lot of office things in there, which is nice to see. Uh, VLC for playing your videos. Uh, I see the Bluetooth settings there. This terminal. I didn't see something much about software and in Ubuntu um, you have a nice thing for installing software which doesn't seem to be in this. Uh, now obviously again this is only a first look, I haven't really looked at this. Other software. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing there. Let's, let's leave that for now. But not like a, an app store. And I'm sure in Ubuntu there was um, a, a, a bit like an app store. I don't know what that's not letting me close that down. Oh, end process. But it, it definitely, it feels like, it feels very much like uh, a Windows, so, uh, Windows operating system. So if you're used to Windows and you want to make the change, uh, I don't think you're going to struggle much with this. Uh, if I call up, uh, let's go for files, and let's close down the web browser. And just to show that it, uh, oh no, I've already done my network attached storage. Computer, desktop, trash, nothing in the trash yet. But all of this looks very, very familiar. It's a very simple operating system. Uh, on first look, it looks great. So what I'm going to do is install Steam, uh, not Steam Link, so Steam, the actual desktop installer, so the Raspberry Pi will play games natively, but I'll do that in the next video. I guess I'll show you how to install it in this video. Well, let's just guess and see. Uh, sudo at install Steam. Uh, 
has no installation candidate. Right, okay, so it must be called something else. So let's have a look on the web browser. Click to install Steam. Oh, if you'd rather use commands, look. Oh, look. Okay, let's let's go with that. Already enabled. Good start. Yeah, that looks like that's all you have to do to install it. I'll leave that going in real time so you can see what's going on. What does it say on here? Is oh, let's minimise this. And now you send it to a different desktop. Oh, send. Oh, look. So send to desktop two. Ah, uh, here we are. So if I flick desktop two, desktop one, desktop two, desktop one. That's cool. So now let's send it back to the main desktop. Send to desktop one. Oh, you can't can't grumble with that. That is that's pretty good functionality. So let's has it done it? No, it's still doing it. So what would have happened? So it would have gone this way. What would have happened if I'd have clicked on that? Discover. Open link. Oh, oh, hold on. Package has no installation candidate. So is it not installed? It looks looks fairly negative from that, doesn't it? Not under games. If I type in here, if you want a program, you can just type it in here in the bottom. And you can see, oh, Steam with a J. So if I was, for instance, going to type in Right, uh, you can see that it comes up with the program you're looking at. I guess it probably does the same with settings, does it? No, maybe not on settings. Oh, actually it did. Yeah, so it's just a quick way of searching various different things on the system. Right, so Steam Installer. Well, let's go with that if that didn't work. Steam Installer. Can I just install this like this? Dependency resolution failed. Doesn't work, doesn't run. Okay, so I'm going to try it on Ubuntu uh, because on Ubuntu there was literally a, a like an app store uh, that you can install it from. I'm sure you can install it in Ubuntu, but uh, for, for speed, I'm going to install Ubuntu for tomorrow's video and then install Steam on that and I'll show you how, you do, it, how I do it in the other video. Anyway, I uh, hope this helps. Little update, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.